it is an 84 year old ambassador and uh, I'm looking forward to many years going forward of it continuing to be an ambassador for the city. I seen it sitting in the corner and it was a dream come true for me to work on a project like this. So. The ambassador Tim and Ben are referring to is a 1928 Chevy fire truck that's currently being restored by the Western Vancouver Island Industrial Heritage Society. When the Industrial Heritage Boys came to us and said, hey, how about we do this truck uh, as, as an anniversary or a centennial event, I was really pleased with that. It ties us back to our history. You know, we, we, you really only know, the, you know the, the part of your history that you were there for. And then to be able to look at this and touch it and, and, and see the kind of tools that people worked with back in the day, um, it really brings that back to, wow, you know, I can't imagine the challenge of, of fighting a fire with that kind of an antiquated equipment. The truck is one of the city's original fire trucks, but it's also had many other uses over the years. Of course, it was a fire truck and it did did go to, the city had it for a while, I heard as a waterworks truck or whatever. Then it went to uh, some people used it as a clown truck for years and years and years, and then they donated it back to the fire hall in the, probably about 82 or so, and then the firefighters then started redoing the truck. Uh, this is the uh, one of the city's original fire trucks, a 1928 Chev um, fire engine. It was. Um, it was, I believe, one of the original ones purchased by the City of Port Alberni. It's being restored as part of the 100-year um, centennial of the fire department. And 2012 is the centennial year for the fire department in the city. The goal is to have the truck ready for the Canada Day Parade, which looks like it will happen, even with a few small challenges. Well, the biggest challenges are trying to guess where all the parts and pieces and how they fit back together. I've never worked on a, on a vehicle this age. We didn't know exactly where everything fit or how it fit, so it had to be a guessing game. Uh, we actually came in with the expertise that we have around here, we actually came in pretty close to, uh, to the dimensions, so we were out by maybe a half an inch or so. Having watched this truck um, sit unchanged for so many years, and then every time I come down here now, Ben's got it, another step done or he's solved another problem, uh, it's really exciting to watch. The truck's progress can be seen at the Industrial Heritage Centre, which is open Tuesday evenings and Saturday mornings. In Portal Burney for Shaw TV, I'm Darren Evans.